Today is a gift, a fresh opportunity to change your life with God's Word. It is our prayer that this day-to-day devotional by Ben and Kay Ahiba Jr. will do just that. October 1st, Discipline Pays Bible verse to ponder upon. The wise ones, however, took oil in jars along with their lambs. Matthew chapter 25 verse 4, New International Version. If there is one character trait whose benefits will never be denied, it may be well be self-discipline. Not everyone can override their unconstructive impulses, resist temptation and do what needs to be done. Self-discipline is marshalling one's willpower to accomplish things that are generally desirable. You need to be able to persevere at what white tax, and this requires you to have built a certain level of capacity over time. Self-discipline is always a determinant between success and failure, and it takes total commitment to your life's purpose to begin to do the things you should do to get you where you want to be. You must learn to defer gratification and pay your dues before you can savor your victory. There's always a price to pay, and as long as you fail to pay the price, success will always elude you. When you commit to discipline, you are like the farmer who sows his seed diligently in season, and he knows that in the fullness of time, he will reap his harvest. In Matthew chapter 25, the Bible tells us a parable of ten virgins who were awaiting the arrival of their groom. Five were wise, and they took extra oil for their lambs why the other five took just enough to get by. At the darkest hour, when the bridegroom arrived, the five foolish ones had run out of oil for their lambs. They were denied entrance into the banquet with the bridegroom. They had spent all their lives waiting for. It took discipline on the part of the other five wise virgins to have extra oil handy in case of any unforeseen circumstance. The foolish five did only what was expected, and that is to have their lambs burning. They lacked adequate foresight, adequate preparation, and good planning. Things will not fall in place because you prayed. Prayer alone will not do what work and planning should do for you. The foolish virgins were missed out on the banquet with their virginity notwithstanding. Let us pray and repeat this prayer after me. Heavenly Father, teach me to walk beyond the expected. I need foresight coupled with adequate preparation and good planning to work for me. In Jesus' name, Amen. Our Bible reading plan for today is Isaiah chapter 62 verse 6 to Isaiah chapter 65 verse 25, Psalm 73 verse 1 to 28, Philippians chapter 2 verse 19, to Philippians chapter 3 verse 3 Proverbs chapter 24 verse 13 to 14 The Lord bless you and keep you <music>